with you really random rants. Let's show what we do. Just that. I'm Coffee Cheetah. I'm Spidalix. And, and today, there's no and there's no Dr. Sella. Uh, we are the random people. people. And uh, this is really random rants, obviously, because we just said that. Yeah. Uh, and today we're doing 21 <laughs> things you didn't know about Sherlock. Well, you probably didn't know. Possibly did yeah. you know. Uh, this is and I'm going to be talking in a British ac- Brit- in a British accent. Do not comment war over my British accent. I like this accent. And leave me alone about it, okay? Get off my case. See, I would do an accent, but there's two. The, I have a Cockney one. I have Well, I have three. A Cockney one, a reformed one, and then the announcer. But I'll do none of the, like... Soccer announcer, dude. Yeah, you know yeah. what? I'm just gonna leave it so on. So I'm just okay. not going yet. So, right, 21 so, shall. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is coming from telegraph.co.uk. So, uh, British facts for Sherlock. That's going to be good because uh, the it's, show. It's by the BBC. Yes. Alright. So. Um, Wait, there's no one. Where's the one? Oh, sorry for that ad. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, it all began with a speech. In 2006, well-known Holmes enthusiast Mark Gattis was asked to address the Sherlock's Home Society annual dinner at the House of Parliament. Oh, yes, the House of Parliament. Parliament. Gattis. Gattis. Oh, he's the guy, Mark Gattis. Oh. We'll call him Mark. Um, anyway, he brought along Stephen Moffat. Um, he is the guy who also does Doctor Who. Hmm. Is the director of Doctor Who? Yeah, I think so. Oh. The newer sh- stuff, Stephen Moffat. Oh, the one with the idiot. I'm a. I'm. I'm not this. I'm not this. I'm this. I am a. No, I mean idiot. newer as in all the reboots. So he's been doing it since like 2005 or whenever the new Doctor. Those are reboots. Uh, sort of. Ask yes. Doctor So. Um, <laughs> but yeah, basically it began with a speech and he was saying uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, um, we should do this, Stephen Moffat. You and I should make a show. Blah 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 blah. blah. And thus the amazing show began with Moriarty. Did you miss me? No, no. <laughs> so predictable. No, no. <laughs> Fact two. There is no abandoned tube station at Sumatra Road. This is probably going to be going over our heads, but you know what? We're going to leave this page completely, just due to the fact that, yeah. Oh, that the facts will go way over our head? No, there's a picture down there oh. that you luckily mixed, apparently. We're going to go back, and we are going so, to... So, thank you, that website. Now we are going to 15 things you probably didn't know about Sherlock. Not sure if it's Sherlock Holmes or Sherlock. Uh, this is coming from shortlist.com. Um, some things, remember, it's the internet we're getting these facts from, so we didn't do any research to back up these facts about Sherlock. So, so just if, run with it. Okay? Yeah. Oh, actually, you don't have to run with it, just... Take don't, it with a grain of salt. No, don't get mad at us. Yeah. Okay, one, all violins played by Sherlock, three different ones in, three, in the three seasons, are borrowed from Gardif Violins. I am totally <laughs> certain that I butchered that first name. And in season three, it was, uh, 1,200... Um, oh, oh. Euros, con, I don't think that's... Is that a Euro? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a... Maybe it's not. Rather wonderfully, after the BBC had returned the Confucio Gardi violins received this letter. Which we will not show you. Sorry. No link in the description. Then we have fact two. Baker Street, the original Kate... Uh, location of Arthur Conan Doyle's books is said to now have too much Sherlock related signature to be used as a filming location for the show. Oh, signage. Basically, there's too much Sherlock related stuff there because Sherlock Holmes supposedly yeah, lived, lived on there. The um, so they couldn't actually film there. So the BBC actually. Yeah, I, I just saw an ad on the site. They're making a new Star Trek show. Oh, yeah. I'll. I forgot. To t- I thought I told you that, but I didn't. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, okay. Um. So. Uh. Anyway, the BBC actually shot exteriors one mile east of there at 187 North 
go Gower Street. So if you ever want to see where they filmed all the Sherlock stuff, just go there. Yeah. You have the address. <laughs> so they filmed there, and interior shots were probably filmed last year. I'm not going to say where they were filmed. Um, then we have fact three. The Real Life Speedies Cafe was called Mrs. Hudson's Snack and Sandwiches. Snacks with an X. And that was in the pilot episode. In the pilot episode. Before the name was dropped in Series 2, Episode A. No, Episode. A, a scan. Oh, yeah. A scandal. In, in, in Series 2, Episode. A scandal in Belgravia. Oh, we are butchering every word. Yeah. <laughs> and basically, Speedies was used for interior shot and was part repainted by the BBC. It still lost Auntie's color choice. Yeah. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds awesome. Fact number four. Benedict Cumberbatch does a lot of his own stunts. Speaking of, speaking on a making of documentary to see, uh, making of documentary on series two DVD, he says the of. Uh, he says of the heart-stopping climax in the in which Sherlock jumps off a building roof. It was filmed on top of St. Bartholomew's Hospital. Doing the fall was really exciting. That's me up on the roof. Not me jumping off the roof, but that's me jumping off a smaller roof onto a lower roof, which is about four feet. <laughs> about four feet, and that cuts me on a wire dropping 70 feet. Onto a massive inflated bag. Okay, that's slightly more awesome now. Yeah. Alright, so then we have, um, fact five. It's well known that Sherlock's glorious flowing coat is a discontinued $1,350 in that. Uh, your, your well, it's not dollar. Yeah, it's, it's euro. Three, one, 1,350 euros. But so in a USD currency, it's not that amount. But anyway, Bellstaff Milford, that the makers brought back into production for a short time. But I've discontinued once more. Less well known is that Watson's shooting jacket for our money uh, for our money, the more wearable option, is a seven hundred twenty five euro haversack coat from Liberty. Cruelly it's too large, um, and it is no longer available. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, there's an entire blog dedicated to the wardrobe, the wardrobe in Sherlock right here. Again. Well, no link in the description. Oh. What? They did this? Six. China's ban on the show hasn't stopped becoming a huge hit on the internet um, in the country. And now I'm going into a failed British accent. Without helping it. <laughs> Despite not appearing in the Chinese Central Television Network or other major channels, 69 million viewers have still seen it on video websites. Initially, makers didn't expect it to be quite the hit it has been in the UK either. Stephen Moffat thought it would bring in somewhere in the region of 4 million viewers. Its average is more than double that. So that's more than 8 million views. Great Google Moogly. Fact number seven. A week before Matt Smith auditioned for Doctor Who, he went on for the role of Watson. What? Matt Smith? Why is Matt Smith not... Okay, he's the other guy's pretty good as well. Yeah, it's the guy who's Bilbo. Bilbo's good. But I, Lindy actually showed me like three episodes of that, of Sherlock. It's good. And he's going to be in Captain America Civil War. As who? Uh, they don't want to say yet. Oh, come on! Um, but anyway, uh... He's probably gonna be a, If he's a bad guy, I want to see that movie. I want to see him as a bad guy, you know what so, I mean? So, yeah. Matt what? Smith basically told the Radio Times, I thought my audition for Watson was very good, but clearly not good enough. Basically, they looked at it and went, He's not Watson. It'd be like having two Sherlocks in the room. Okay, that's, that's a compliment on his part. Yes. But Martin Freeman was born to play that part, and rightly so, um... Thank the stars. I wasn't destined for Watson, but I met Stephen Moffat, who said he'd be quite a good Doctor Who. And he is an amazing Doctor Who. Fact number eight, Benedict Cumberbatch parents play Sherlock Holmes' parents. That is interesting. Did not know that. Nine, Watson's... 
Um, okay, yeah. Ma Watson's wife, Mary Morstan, is played by Martin Freeman's real-life partner, Amanda... Abington. Abington. So, basically, they're married in real life, and... That the carries over to the show. Yeah. All right. Um, then... A fact number 10. The series pilot titled A Study in Pink oh, that is a really good one. was originally shot by directors Koki Gederoyce as a 60-minute episode. Uh, this pilot went unaired and was reshot as a 90-minute episode by Paul McGugan. Yeah, they're really long. The 60-minute unaired pilot is included in the Sherlock Season 1 DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, so if you want to see that pilot, uh, the both unaired and I'm sure actual aired one, get a uh, season one DVD of Sherlock. Fact number 11. Brought up placement. Fact number 11. Sherlock's, the Sherlock finale generated a colossal three, I'm gonna just gonna say numbers because I don't know what the, uh, no, it's 377,182 tweets. That's not, I thought it was gonna be like views or like. I know, what? but that's, 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 that's tweets. I know. The highest volume of t tweets for a single episode of a drama series in the UK. The Doctor Who 50th anniversary adventure received more tweets, but... It's is, counted as a special. Yeah, it is. All right. Fact number 12. Let's talk accents. Sadly, we're not going to talk about accents. I'm sorry, guys. We're stick skipping that fact. Fact number... Fact number 13. Um, the 2011 riots in London forced the BBC to interrupt filming. Hmm. Fact number 14. My cross umbrella, sh umbrella shop that's instantly recognizable to most Londoners, James Smith, is from a... My cross umbrella is from a shop that's instantly recognizable to most Londoners. James Smith and Sons boasts a perfect example of Victorian shop um, uh, front design. Stuff like that. Then the final fact is 15. In The Wait, Blind Banker... Oh, no, it is yeah. 15. In The Blind Banker, in Series 1, Watson tosses Sherlock a pen, and Sherlock plucks it out of the air without even looking. Um, slick... It was sli a slick move. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch managed this on the first take, but a problem with the camera meant they had to try three or four times to get it right again. How did he do it? Probably looking at your mirror. Um, so, um, those are the facts. Now we are going quick to a short um, improv game. Super Pink is going to give us subjects that way. You're not bored because... No. No. We are going we are going to pause this and then we're gonna come back in a couple minutes with like the actual thing. Alright. Alright, so we're back and basically what we're going to be doing is Sherlock Holmes played by Spadalix, um and um Coffee Cheetah, so myself playing Han Solo. I'm not going to try Harrison Ford voice because it's just too incredible to try and copy. Um and I don't want to let Harrison Ford fans down, like myself. <laughs> um, and so, so then, funny. Uh, the subject, w which was chosen by Super Pink, um, she chose all these things, is um, Han Solo is trying to get um, Sherlock into the Millennium Falcon. And let's see how this turns out. All right. Okay. See this Millennium Falcon? It will cost you 2,000 credits. Why would I want to ride on that? Um, because I am going to take you to the place you call Baker Street. I can get a taxi there for two bucks. Um, but this is the fastest piece of any spaceship in this whole galactic system. I mean, it's the fastest piece of, piece of junk in this entire galactic universe. It's not a piece of junk. This thing, um, ran the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. That's not very impressive. I had a small car that was dying that did that in less than three. Never tell me the odds. All right. Um, come on. I I'll give you. It the looks ride. like a burger with a bite out of it. It is. Don't <laughs> insult her. 
It's a girl. I'm s- yes, it's a girl. It's the Millennium Falcon. Do you have any You've idea? You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Do you have any idea? Should I have? Yes. Um. Wait a minute. Think about the fact that you're calling it a her. It's kind of messed up if you think about it. You're riding inside of a female. Yeah, this baby is my life. You mean that this isn't complete? That makes more sense. You! You know what? Mr. You know what, Mr. Han Solo, Captain of the Millennium Falcon? I believe that you should go see your girlfriend, Princess Leia, and tell her about your wife. Yo, you didn't think I knew that. Yeah. I can obviously tell when someone's married to another person when, they sh- when they're really dating another person. And I can tell just by the fact that you were talking like this that th- their names were... that one's name was Leia. I have yet to find any evidence to, uh, to the name of the other spouse. Saint. Saint Solo. Saint Solo. Well. <laughs> no further. <laughs> Now, are you going to get the ride or not? No. No. I'm not. I can I. I can I can get a taxi to get me up there and top just for tuppence. Well, so you know, you say you can predict anything, right? What? I'm all, I bet you couldn't predict this. Oh, it's not a gun. It's a blaster. You're not really going to shoot me. No, I really want to. Uh, but I don't want to be caught by the police. <gasps> I know almost everything. Chewy. Ah, ah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. End scene. Alright, so thank you for watching. Please like. Uh, comment. Um, share. Subscribe. Follow us on Google Plus. Become part of the really random fandom. Um, hashtag did it first. And live long and prosper. Have a really, really random day.